What's going on guys, AJ here from Colorado Fisher and in tonight's episode we're going after some walleye on top water floating jerk baits. It is one of the funnest ways to go for walleye. We're also going to use some regular jerk baits but this specifically is top water. We're using uh, lures like Smithswicks and some Rapalas that are floating but when you guys do a jerk on them they actually go down two to four feet. These walleye normally wait until it's paused and then they come to the top and smack it. So I hope you guys enjoy the show and learn some things along the way. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I've been throwing it kind of parallel to the shoreline. So you tighten the slack up right away because that way you dictate what depth you want and then pause for five seconds jerk jerk tighten the slack jerk tighten the slack yep jerk twice tighten it once tighten one two i'd switch it between one one two 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 one 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 two if you vary it like that your chances are better but uh yeah usually finding areas that have shallow rock structure or weeds to rock really helps and of course finding the spawn time it's probably the most successful bite you'll have these are the uh smithwick jerk bakes i really recommend the rattling rogue suspending two to four feet chartreuse color made by smithswick real good stuff let's see i'm gonna go a little bit towards the shore sometimes these fish will hit the moment it hits top surface or on the first couple of jerks got one either that or a log I think I got one, folks. I got one. I got a walleye, guys. Ooh, decent one, too. All right, guys. See what I mean? Not a bad fish at all. Right in the lip there. Right on that four and a half inch Smithswick. Paul is on point. It's about 17 exactly. I'm going to release this beautiful walleye. Yeah, that was definitely a fish I had in. So yeah, let's go over that one more time. Cast. Reel in the slack right away. One, two. Leave it for about five seconds. One. One, two. One. One. One, two, one, two. That's all you guys really have to do. It's when you get them. I'm gonna try to do a parallel cast. They do tend to come in really shallow near banks. You do? That's okay, I'm not snagged. Paul oh, has one over there. It's a walleye? Yeah. Yep, Paul's got a walleye. Yeah, He's not skunked on walleyes tonight. <laughs> Let's see that. Beauty though, huh? They're all beautiful. Yeah. What's the, what are you using there, Paul? Swim bait. How many inch? Four. Low in the dark with a chartreuse tail. Let's get out there again. Getting it dialed in on that top water. It suspends, but when you pause, it goes up. And then it suspends, and then goes up. And I've noticed they've come up to hit it on the top. Jerk, jerk. Sometimes when I make that splash on top, that's what kind of drives them to hit it. When I leave it on top of it. Oh! Oh, did you guys hear that? He came up to hit it again. Oh, 
Oh, he smacked the top water. Top water, guys. Top water. Ooh. Small guy. But I didn't want to take a chance of him getting me into weeds. Uh, probably about the average. Right through the lip, guys. Right on that pause. And he came, smacked it. Top water. Got a floating. It only suspends when you do a jerk on it. Contrary to belief, guys, while I do like to hit a lure top water, they think it's a bait fish. So you just got to kind of replicate bait fish behavior and some of these bait fish slap the water at night when you go to some of these lakes and that's really the key. Got him. Got him top water, guys. Got him top water. Got him. Got him. Right on the top. Well, that's a decent one, too. On that top bite. Man, it's my favorite. New way to fish for these guys, dude. Look at that fish. Not too big. The average tonight. your One. advice it's actually a decent fish top water what i was doing was doing a slow retrieve and then a twitch like you said so slow retrieve twitch Slow retreat, twitch, twitch, slow retreat, twitch. So there's a pattern to it. <laughs> hey guys, Paul just uh, caught a huge chunk of it. Just snagged. Look at the size of this beast. <laughs> that is literally thirty dollar fish if you bought it in the store. At least you caught it on a jerk bait, so they are huge in here. Yeah. I don't even know because he's insane. I'm gonna try all the rabbit. We got one, guys. Huh? We got one. You got one? Yeah. Holy crap, did I snag a sucker? Whoa. Yeah, I snagged a sucker. Oh, sucker! Oh my gosh, guys, I got a huge. That sucker straight up hit that rebel track down right on the mouth, guys. All right, guys, it is time to call it a night. We ended up with about five to six walleye using floating jerk baits. Uh, we will just cast out there and do uh, one to two twitches, uh, vary it up, of course, on the retrieval. The walleye would usually hit that as it's trying to resurface. We even ended up with a sucker. It turned out to be a decent night. I hope you guys learned some uh, tips and tricks that I've shared with you that will help you get into some walleye. So I hope you enjoy the episode, and we'll see you guys next time.